University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more teams of students are making what they hope will be the first of several appearances in this competition. And, of course, the longer they stay in, the closer they get to being series champions. Winning all their matches is a surefire way of staying in. But for these first-round fixtures, there's a safety net for the four highest-scoring losing teams who will return to compete in the playoffs for the last two places in the next round. Now, the University of Edinburgh received its charter in 1583 from James VI. Alumni include the philosopher David Hume, although he failed to graduate, reputedly finding little in the university's professors that couldn't be found in books. The authors Sir Walter Scott, J.M. Barry and Arthur Conan Doyle all went there, as did both the Olympic athlete Eric Liddell and the actor Ian Charlson, who played him in Chariots of Fire. The Tory politicians Amber Rudd and Ruth Davidson are among those who graduated uh, by being doffed on the head with a bonnet reputedly fashioned out of John Knox's breeches. <laughs> with an average age of 23 and representing around 36,000 students, let's meet the team from Edinburgh. Hi, I'm Matt Booth. I'm originally from Bristol, and I'm studying for a PhD in mathematics. Hello, my name is Marco Maluza. I come from Monfalcone, Italy, and I'm studying for a degree. Hi, I'm Robbie campbell Hewson. I'm from Edinburgh, and I'm studying maths. Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, has twice fielded teams who've gone on to be series champions, although that was back in the 1970s, long before any of tonight's lot were born. <laughs> it was founded in 1596 by Lady Frances Sydney, Countess of Sussex, and aunt of the poet Sir Philip Sydney. Oliver Cromwell was among its earlier students, and his head is reputed to have been buried beneath the college's anti-chapel after it had been retrieved from a spike outside Westminster Hall. Alumni include the TV presenter Carol Vorderman, the journalist Andrew Rawnsley, and the politician David Owen. With an average age of 20 and representing around 540 students, let's meet the Sydney Sussex team. Hi, I'm Radu. I'm from the West Midlands and I study history. Hi, I'm James. I'm from Fleetwood and I study maths. And this is their captain. Good evening. I'm Jevin Ayagoja. I'm from Lucknow in India and I'm reading law. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm from London and I'm studying natural sciences. Right, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. What five-letter word can refer to the protruding head of a glacier, a tinker in a Midsummer Night's Dream, the nose or muzzle of an animal, and a slang term... Sydney Sussex Ollard. Snout. Snout is correct, yes. You get a set of bonuses first off on heraldry, then, Sydney Sussex. Appearing on the coat of arms of the Republic of Latvia, which fabulous beast has the head and wings of an eagle and the body and hindquarters of a lion? Griffin. Griffin. Correct. Which mythical quadruped with horns and tusks appears on the arms of Lady Margaret Beaufort, the mother of King Henry VII? It shares its name with an Ivy League university. Harvard, Princeton, Cornell, any, any of those ring a bell? Didn't say that. Uh, Phoenix. Huh? No, 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 that's not. No. Uh, Princeton. No, it's a Yale. <laughs> and finally, which <laughs> mythical creature takes the form of a two-footed winged dragon with a serpent-like barbed tail? It's a traditional symbol of Wessex. A worm. A worm. A worm. No, it's a wyvern. <laughs> Ten points for this. In the nomenclature of inorganic chemistry, or Red Book, published by IUPAC, oxidane is a recommended name for what common substance? An booth. Water. Water is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on rivers of England and Wales according to a system of universal geography published in the United States in 1834. In each case, name the river from the extract. Firstly, the first link in that vast chain of inland navigation which unites all the central parts of England. 
It falls into the Humber about five miles below Burton upon Strather. The ooze, the of that. Try the, the ooze. The ooze. No, it's the Trent. It waters a country of which the inhabitants are distinguished by their industry and their wealth. Formed by several streams in Cheshire, it's navigable for vessels of considerable burden from the sea to the confluence of the Irwell. Try that, the Mersey? Sure, yeah. The Mersey? Correct. Nice. As it proceeds, it is joined by the numerous canals that bear the treasures of Birmingham, Kidderminster and the trading towns in Warwickshire, Staffordshire and Worcestershire. Yale? No, it's too no. high for the Yale. Yeah. What do you think? There isn't even... Shot, shot. The Avon. No, that's the seven. Ten points for this. Which French naval vessel sank in 1816, having run aground off the west coast of Africa? Some survivors infamously turned to murder and cannibalism, and the incident has been portrayed in Julian Barnes's A History of the World in ten and a half chapters. And in Edinburgh a... Fitzjames. Um, the. No, sorry. I'm sorry if you buzz, you must answer. So I'm going to offer the whole thing. You're going to, you're going to be penalised too, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Instance being portrayed in Julian Barnes's A History of the World in Ten and a Half Chapters and in a painting of 1819 by Theodore Jericho. Sydney Sussex Ollard. The Medusa? It is the Medusa, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on cross gender productions of Shakespeare plays, Sydney Sussex. A media description of her Chairman Mao suit and David Bowie hair referred to whose portrayal of Hamlet at Manchester's Royal Exchange Theatre in 2014. Tilda Swinton. Sounds right. Tilda Swinton? No, it was Maxine Peake. In the National Theatre's 2017 production of Twelfth Night, the yellow stockings scene saw whirling tassels adorning the chest of which actor in the role of Malvolia? I don't know. Name me a theatre actor. Benedict Cumberbatch? No, it's a cross... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Tamsin Gregg. And finally, in 2003, Janet McAteer played the fortune-seeking protagonist who's left Verona for Padua in an all-female production of which play at the Globe Theatre? The Taming of the Shrew? Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see the names of some of the title characters of works by a single author. For ten points, name the author. Edinburgh Fitzjames. Tolstoy? No, anyone want to buzz from Sydney Sussex? Sydney Sussex Thomas. Dostoevsky? No, it's Pushkin, Eugene Onyegin, Boris Godunov, and so on. Right, we're going to take the picture bonuses in a moment or two when someone gets to start a question right. In 2017, who followed Norman Yardley, David Gower and Kevin Peterson to become the fourth men's England cricket captain to lose a test after declaring in the third innings? The match in question was the second test against the West Indies. Sydney Sussex Delaney. Mr. Cook. Nope. You lose five points. Was the second test against the West Indies in August 2017? Edinburgh Booth. Jones. Well, it was Joe Root, so ten points at stake for this starter question. Now a capital city. Which settlement was established in 1787 by the abolitionist Granville Sharp and others as a home for freed slaves on the West Africa? Edinburgh Campbell Hewson. Freetown. Freetown is correct, yes. Following on that list we saw a moment ago of works by Pushkin, your picture bonuses list characters featuring in a single Russian novel, all from the 19th century. Again, you'll see them in Cyrillic script. This time I need the English title of each novel. Firstly... P. Peter, Pler, or something. And then Kim... Natasha. Natasha. Nikolaya. What should I try? Brothers Karamazov. Stop that. There's no Karamazov. Uh, war, and peace. war and Peace. It is War and Peace, yes. Mm -hmm. Secondly... Nas, nas, das, Natasha. Natasha. Yeah. Petro... Kropotka. Sounds familiar. Ma, Mani, Mylov or something? Ma, it, uh, the Master and Margarita? No, the Master and Margarita? No, it's Dead Souls by Gogol. And finally... Uh, Rob, 
Radia. Raskolnikov. Yeah, that is Raskolnikov. Crime and punishment. Crime and punishment by Dostoevsky is right. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. Measured about its longitudinal axis of symmetry, what is the moment of inertia of a thin cylindrical shell of radius R and mass M? Sydney Sussex Delaney. Half M R squared. Nope. And it Fitz James. 2 pi M R squared. No, it's M R squared. Ten points for this. Which city is located approximately midway between Sofia and Tirana? It became the capital of the former Yugoslav Republic. Edinburgh Malaza. Skopje. Skopje is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses, Edinburgh, are on particle physics. Which subatomic particle might be indicated by the crossword clue campaign slogan of Reagan or the father of Rand Paul? Father Ron Paul. Father Ron Paul. 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 Ron Ron Secondly, what term encompasses a large class of particles that do not feel the strong nuclear force? In a crossword, it might have the clue Mounted athletically by the sound of it. Neutrinos. Neutrinos. It's a class of particles. Do electrons feel the strong nuclear force? Leptons. 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 I don't know why. Lepton. Lepton. Lepton is correct. And finally, which particle involved in binding nucleons might bear the clue affixed with adhesive? Gluon. Gluon. Gluon is right. Ten points for this. In molecular biology, what two nucleobases are found in the eukaryotic promoter sequence known as the Hognes box? Edinburgh Malazar. Is it BA? No. Anyone like to buzz from Sydney Sussex? Uh, Sydney Sussex Olet. Adenine and guanine. No. It's adenine and thymine. Right, ten points for this. Listen carefully. Quebec and Ontario were two of the four provinces that were incorporated into the Dominion of Canada through the Constitution Act of 1867. Name the other two. Edinburgh Fitzjames. Uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on an ancient people. The order of battle against the Alans is a work by which historian and public servant born in about AD 86. He's best known for a work on Alexander the Great. Um, yeah, Cassius Dio. No, it's Arian. Secondly, along with the Alans, which Germanic people founded a kingdom in North Africa in the 430s? They sacked Rome in 455. The Vandals. Correct. The Alans are thought to be the ancestors of which Iranian-speaking people? They give their name to a Russian republic and to a partially recognised state in the Caucasus. Russians. Russians. Yeah. Yeah. The Ossetians? Correct. Ten points for this. Described by Siegfried Sassoon as Wilfred Owen's Passport to Immortality, what is the two-word title of the latter's poem which contains the line, I am the enemy you killed, my friend? Edinburgh Fitzjames. Strange meeting. Strange meeting is right. <laughs> These bonuses are on scientific terms. In each case, give the term from the definition. All three begin with the same two letters. First, a violent inward collapse due to external pressure, such as the failure of an evacuated glass vessel. Implosion. Implosion? Correct. Indicated by the letter J, a measurement that is equal to the change in an object's momentum. In everyday use, the same term means a sudden inclination to perform an action. Impetus. 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 No, it's impulse. Yeah. And finally, a two-word term for the resulting depression in the surface of a planet caused by a high-velocity object. Impact. Yeah. Is it two words? Yeah. Impact crater. Yeah. Yeah. Impact crater. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can give me the name of the group. Andy Brett Fitzjames. Genesis. It was Genesis. <laughs> for your music bonuses, I want you to give me the single word title of the book of the Old Testament 
in the King James Bible that's contained within the name of the band or the artist that you're about to hear. Firstly... She don't love me like you. Can you think of any bands that have... Or, I don't know, just a better one, Exodus. Job. No, that was the magic number, so what I was looking for was numbers. Okay. Secondly... Job again. <laughs> now that was Tori Amos, so I was looking for Amos. And finally, this is George Ezra. 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 Ezra is correct. Yes. <laughs> right. Ten points for this. Meaning bark or rind in Latin. What six-letter term is used in anatomy? Edinburgh Fitz James. Phloem. No, you lose five hmm. points in anatomy for the outer tissues of an organ. For example, the kidney or brain. Sydney Sussex Ollard. Epidermis. No, it's the cortex. So, another starter question now. In North America, the Commissioner's Trophy is awarded to the winner of which sporting contest? Since 2009, the San Francisco Giants have won three times. Sydney Sussex Delaney. American football. No. Edinburgh Booth. The World Series. The World Series is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the names of countries in their native language. In each case, give the common English name of the country in question. Firstly, Suomi. S-U-O-M-I. Finland. Correct. Secondly, Hrvatska. Croatia. That's H-R-V-A-T-S-K-A. Croatia. Correct. Third, Elada. Greek. E-L-L-A-D-A. -L -L -A. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What game links the films The Dark Horse and Queen of Catway, both based on real events, with the Nabokov adaptation, The Losing Defence? Edinburgh Booth. Chess. Chess is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on the 2009 book Twitterature, subtitled The World's Greatest Books Retold Through Twitter. Give the title of the work parodied in each of the following tweets. Firstly, a novel of 1815. Isn't it funny how I'm always thinking about things I seem not to care about, people I don't love and marriages I don't want to have? It's too late for Austin, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be. She died, she died around then. What the uh, like, with anger, I don't know. Doesn't make much sense. Sense and sensibility. Sense and sensibility. No, it was Emma. Oh, you worked it out pretty well, though. Secondly, a novel of 1942, Mom Dead, at the funeral now, oh, bored. Oh, People okay. seem sad, texts don't call. L'étranger. Correct, The Stranger by <laughs> Albert Camus. Finally, a 1937 novella, first you squashed the mouse and now you've gone and squashed the girl. I'm going to have to kill you. Huh. <sighs> Is not the Wizard of Oz? No. I was thinking about the 1937 novella. Oh, is it a Steinbeck? Oh, yes, it's Steinbeck. Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men. Of, yes, yes, of Mice and Men. Yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Lilac Fairy and the Evil Carabosse are characters in which ballet choreographed by. Sydney Sussex Hollard. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on spots. An example of op art. Hesitate is a 1964 painting by which British artist? It comprises rows of grayscale spots positioned to create an illusion of movement. Bridget Riley. Bridget Riley. Correct. Polka dots are a characteristic feature of the installations of which Japanese artist? Born in 1929, her infinity rooms use mirrors to create apparently endless reflections of thousands of spots and dots. The arcs are the acoustic matrix one. It was from that book. I did not. Oh, no. Sorry. Cousin uh, Matrix, maybe? Is no, it? no. Cousin Matrix was my best guess. Can I nominate you? Uh, sure. <laughs> nominate Delaney? Uh, Cousin Matrix. No, it's Kusama. Five points for this one, if you get it. The spot paintings of which British artist include works titled 
morphine sulfate and aprotinin. Damien Hurst? Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting by an Austrian artist. For ten points, name the artist. Sydney Sussex Thomas. Uh, Egon Schiele? Correct. <laughs> that was his autumn sun. Three more depictions of autumn now, and again, in each case, I just need the name of the artist. First from a work of about 1573. Pass. <laughs> That's Giuseppe Archimboldo. Secondly, from around 1830. Pass. That's Caspar David Friedrich. And finally, from around 1902. Mm -hmm. Nominate yeah. Thomas. Uh, Toulouse Lautrec. No, it's Gustav Klimt. Ten points for this. Which dish of lamb or other meat in a rich tomato based sauce is known by a two word name from the Urdu meaning stewed in ghee? Edinburgh Booth. Rogan Josh. Rogan Josh is correct. <laughs> you get bonuses on the polymath Thomas Young, Edinburgh. Born 1773, Young originally trained as a physician and gave his name alongside that of which German scientist to a theory of trichromatic vision? Um, Can you see the national English? German, German scientist. German scientist, yeah. Young, 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 or someone young, young, young. young. Trichromatic. Um, Holtzman. That's Helmholtz. Mm -hmm. Secondly, writing across a variety of subjects, including carpentry, chromatics, weight and measures and tides, Young contributed many articles to what publication? It first appeared in 1768. Proceedings of the Royal Society? Transactions of the Royal Society? Trans 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 proceedings? Is it proceedings? I don't, I think it's pro I don't know. I think it's proceedings. Proceedings of the Royal Society? No, it was the Encyclopaedia Britannica. <laughs> and finally, in the early 19th century, Young helped decipher what artefact. His breakthrough was in demonstrating that some names of royal figures were spelt phonetically. The Rosetta Stone. Correct. Ten points for this. You must go on. I can't go on. I'll go on. Sydney Sussex Thomas. Uh, Samuel Beckett. Samuel Beckett is correct, yes. Bonuses are on the British Empire this time. In 1814, Britain purchased Demerara Berbice and Escobedo. These territories now comprise which present-day country of the mainland Americas? Belize? That is British Panama. 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 Belize is a bit... Belize? No, it's Guyana. Secondly, in 1885, Britain established the Oil Rivers Protectorate in a major river delta in which present-day country? Nigeria. Correct. The Federation of South Arabia was a British protectorate that ended in 1967. Its territory now forms part Yemen. of which present-day country? Yemen. Yemen is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Name either of the two alkali metals discovered spectroscopically from 1860 by the German scientist Bunsen and Kirchhoff. Ah. Sydney Sussex Delaney. Lithium. No, and you want to buzz from Edinburgh? <laughs> Edinburgh Campbell Hewson. Cesium. Cesium, the other one's rubidium. <laughs> right. <laughs> 15 points for these bonuses coming up now. They're on zoology. What is the single word common name of the Hylobatidae, also called the small or lesser apes? Oh, um. They're not the local. No. Um, it's nice. not orangutan. A gibbon. Oh, yeah. Gibbons. Correct. Gibbons can swing and leap from branch to branch at great speeds. From the Latin for arm, what specific term denotes this type of locomotion? Brachium or something. Brachium. So, brachium. Brach brach motion, uh, motion, like, motor. but like, brachium. What will brach be the second brachial part? Brachial motion? Brachial body or something. Brachial motion. It's brachiation, so you, you were getting there, but you didn't get there <laughs> closely enough. After a character in the Star Wars film, what name has been given to the new species of Hulok Gibbon described in January 2017? Might be Yoda. Mm -hmm. What were you thinking? No. What were you thinking? 
not that. I was thinking Yoda. I think there's one that looks like a sure. Is it Yoda? No, it's Skywalker Gibbon. There's about two and a quarter minutes to go and ten points for this. In Greco-Roman mythology, what meteorological phenomenon links Favonius, Aquilo, Notus, Eurus, Boreas and Zephyrus? Edinburgh Fitzjames. Wind. Wind is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on diverse works of fiction. In each case, identify the novel from some of its chapter titles. And St. Ogg's Passes Judgment. No idea. 1860, could it be the early Brothers Count? I don't know, I didn't know it's definitely not the Brothers Count. No, Bleak House. Bleak House. No, it's The Mill on the Floss. Secondly, from a novel of 1991, Paul Smith, taking an Uzi to the gym and end of the 1980s. Um... When was Black Album? Black Album or Black yeah. Album? The Black Album? No, it's American Psycho. Finally, from a work published in the 1880s, I go to Bristol, what I heard in the apple barrel, and the last it's, of the blind man. It's, it's the Treasure, Treasure Island. Island, yeah. Treasure Island. Treasure Island is correct. Ten points for this. In molecular biology, for what does the letter P stand in the abbreviation NADP+. Edinburgh Fitzjames. Phosphate. Phosphate is right. These bonuses this time are on US state capitals. In each case, I need both the capital and the state in which it's located. The name of which state capital ends in the two letters that form the Roman numeral for nine? So, I-X. Phoenix? Arizona. Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix? Arizona. And the state? Arizona. Correct. The name of which state capital ends in the letter that is the Roman numeral for a thousand? M. Um, what ends in M? Uh, <laughs> Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon. Correct. The names of two state capitals begin with the Roman numerals for 51. Name either. L -I. So L -I. L -I. Um, begin with. Uh, begin with L-I. Um. So the Little Rock, Arkansas and Lincoln, Nebraska. Still, you did enough to win, Edinburgh. Uh, Sydney, Sussex, that was a... Well, you never really got into your stride at all, did you? I don't know what happened there. But uh, you were up against strong opposition. Edinburgh, congratulations to you. We'll look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. Don't look so sad. It's only a game. <laughs> and it's goodbye from Edinburgh University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>